Here in week eight, the six and one Saints traveled to the Pacific Northwest to take on the five and one Seattle Seahawks. We'll start things off with the Saints on offense on their own 39. Teddy's gonna hand off to Camara for a first down in the run game. Gets taken down just after midfield. Then the very next play, it's gonna be another handoff to Camara, and he is hurt on the play, a dislocated shoulder. He would be out for the rest of the game, but he would be fine for next week's game. So pick things up later on in the drive. First and 10, handoff toe field. Picks up a first down in the run game himself. Now down to the three, and they cap off the drive. They pitch to toe field, gets into the end zone, and the Saints strike first in this one. 7-0 is their lead. Move things on later in the first. Russell Wilson in the shotgun. Third and eight, need a conversion. He's taken off for it himself, and he is stopped just short of the first down marker by Anthony Walker. They send the kicking team out, but the field goal is just short, so it's still 7-0. Move things on to the second quarter now. Saints on offense. Teddy in the shotgun, stepping up in the pocket, firing a strike right to Michael Thomas, converting on third and 16. They need another conversion on third and two. Teddy finds Coleman on the slant, but he is laid out by Earl Thomas, and they settle for a field goal, which Lutz does not miss. And it's now a 10-0 lead for the Saints. Still second quarter action. Russell Wilson's going over the middle. And the pass is incomplete, but there was a roughing the passer from Ken Crawley, so the Seattle Seahawks extend their drive. Then they hand things off to Thomas Rawls for a first down, and then on a first and goal on the three later in the drive, Russell Wilson's going to drag a couple guys into the end zone, and it's now a 10-7 ball game as Wilson gets himself a scrambling touchdown, and then they would have a chance to take the lead or at least tie it before Halftime, but instead, Wilson's throwing a pick to Ligway, and he's taking it all the way back. Ukemia Ligway out of Georgia Southern. Pick six for him. It's going to be a 17-7 Saints lead heading into the second half. So third quarter action, Teddy airing things out, and Michael Thomas laying out. Diving catch for him, picks up the first in the big game. Now it's second and six inside the red zone. And Teddy finds Hogan, the Mammoth legend. And then on first and goal, Olavale on the slant route, the rookie out of Wyoming, makes it a 24-7 Saints lead. Move things on to the fourth quarter now. Seahawks on offense, Russell Wilson in the shotgun. Aaron things out into double coverage, and Terrence Mitchell stupidly commits a defensive pass interference. So they end up getting into field goal range, and... The Seahawks do not miss that one, but it's only 24-10. Pretty much a meaningless field goal, especially when the Saints go down and run out the clock and then kick a field goal of their own as Edmonds gets the run there with Kamara being out for the rest of the game. Tofield gets the run there, and then with 428, they kick a field goal, and it's now a 27-10 lead for the Saints, and that would be your final on this one as the New Orleans Saints come with the victory here against Seattle in Seattle as the Seahawks drop to 5-2 and two on the year, and the Saints improve to 7-1. and one. Tofield had 16 carries for 74 yards and a touchdown in the ground game, and then with Kamara being hurt, Edmonds got 9 carries for 69 nice yards on the ground as well. With that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of New Orleans Saints football. I've been your host, Jersey Bourne, and I'm saying goodbye. I rep the East Coast, I got a team of hoes like past Summit I look like Arnold Schwarzenegger in a black Hummer I splash summer like a fast brother With a number on his back, ain't no fumbling in fact I'm back, as it in my hat Shooting past the Gaddis at the bottom of the river in a plastic bag My new shorty got a gymnastic bag 87 emerald green on the classic jack